Jessica here and welcome to another episode of CMYK Play. Each week in this series we'll be exploring and experimenting creating colors using the primary color CMYK. C standing for cyan, M standing for magenta, Y standing for yellow, and K standing for black. I will be using stock mixtures, dry powder mixtures, and occasionally when necessary a combination of the two. This week we are exploring the color rust. Everything you need to know about what I'm doing, what dye I'm using, and what form I'm using it in will be in the description box below along with any other relevant information. These experiments are done using 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon sock yarn. Please keep in mind that this is not the right or wrong way to do this. These are just my experiments and how I'm doing them. There are many things that will change the outcome of your experiments, including whether your water is more or less acidic than mine, whether you choose to use a different yarn base than I'm using, and if you swap out the dyes for a different dye. I encourage you to take this information and using it as a jumping off point in your own experiments. And with that being said, let's go visit past me in the dye studio and create a rust colorway. Hello and welcome to another episode of CMYK Play. Today we are gonna to try to create a rust colorway. We are going to be using magenta, yellow, and black. And I will pop this, the picture up on the screen here so that you can see the color that we're going for. Uh, the CMYK values that I found in my research are magenta at 77%, yellow at 100%, and K at 14%. I also found an alternative measurement on another website, which is very, very similar. It's 64% magenta, 92% magenta, and 28% black. So they are relatively close. So we are gonna start with our yellow measurement. So that's 100%. So we're going to do four tablespoons of yellow. And then 77% of magenta. We're gonna do 77%. So we'll do three tablespoons of magenta. And then I wanna see what that color looks like. So rust is an orangey color. It's very, very fall-esque. All right, so let's see what that looks like when we mix it up. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see what, let me add some water. We're gonna take a look and see what this looks like and then we'll add a teaspoon of black in at a time. I always really love the orange color that is created by combining the magenta and the yellow. <clears throat> On many of my rainbow colorways, uh, the rainbow zip colorways, I usually use the magenta and the yellow and let them just kind of blend together to create the orange and the rainbow. It's a really vibrant orange. So let me grab some gloves and let's take a look at the orange that that creates. All right, so that is the orange with just the yellow and the magenta that it creates. So now, let me write this down. We did, we did four tablespoons, three of yellow, three tablespoons of magenta. Now we're gonna do a teaspoon at a time of the black. Let's 
mix it up. All right, so we did one teaspoon there. Well, let's see what that looks like. All right, so we see that one teaspoon definitely darkened it up a little bit. But I think I'm gonna let this set for a few moments. I'll be right back with you. I wanna see what that looks like after a few moments. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add another teaspoon in of black. Let's mix it up. Okay, so on the paper towel, this, this looks a little too brown, but we have learned in the past that that doesn't always guarantee that that is exactly the color. So I'm gonna go ahead with this for attempt one. I will meet you over at the pots and we can get started. Okay, we're over here at the pots. As always, we have just plain tap water, no citric acid. We're pouring in our attempt number one. We're gonna give it a swirl. There's no heat also. We're gonna turn the heat on here in just a second. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get our stain. For these experiments, we use 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon fingering sock yarn. That's real pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir. Once I feel some heat in the pot, I will return and um, we will add the citric acid and play around with attempt number two. Okay, I'm starting to feel some heat in the pot. I won't be able to see this very well, but this is definitely looking a little redder. So I think what we're gonna do in the second attempt is we're gonna back off the magenta a little bit and dial up the black a little bit because that's a little redder than what was shown. So let me get the citric acid. I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna give this, keep stirring this for a little bit and then I will meet you guys back at the mixing table to work on attempt number two. All right, so we're back here at the mixing table and we are going to work on attempt number two. So I think what I want to do is dial back the, um, the red a little bit and dial up the black a little bit. So we're going to keep the same with the yellow. We're going to do four tablespoons of yellow. And this time I'm going to do two tablespoons of the magenta. So let's get the yellow here. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of ooh, two tablespoons of magenta. Add some. This time I'm gonna add some hot water, and we'll mix that up. 
see what we got. So we still have the same, it's a little bit brighter because we turned back the magenta. So I'm gonna start in with our teaspoons of black. And I'm gonna start with two. So four tablespoons of yellow, two tablespoons of magenta, and two teaspoons of black. So that is, I'm gonna let that set for a few moments. I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit. <clears throat> I feel like this rust is pretty challenging because the paper towel test is it's just looking brown, but when we put the other one in the pot, it's definitely red. So I'm gonna let that set for a few moments. I'll be back with you. All right, so I've let that set for a few moments and kind of dry in. You see how it's how cool the paper towel test for this? Um, this kind of breaks. I, don't, I think it's pretty. So. I'm gonna go ahead and add another teaspoon. And then I just, I'm gonna call that attempt number two. I wanna see what it looks like in the pot because paper towel test looks brown, but I wanna show you, when we go back to the pots, I wanna quick show you what attempt number one is looking like now that it's been in the pot for a little bit and it's starting to strike. But it's, it's definitely not brown. <laughs> it's definitely a very vibrant color. All right, so. so it's definitely a little darker. I think we're gonna go with this for attempt number two. So I will meet you over at the pots and we will get started. So like I said, I just kind of wanted to show you it's definitely a little redder than the picture, so I definitely still think dropping back on the magenta was the way to go. But it's not brown, like on the paper towel. So in this regard, the paper towel test is not really helping us at all. Okay, so we're gonna pour in attempt number two. Give it a stir. I want to just <sighs> paper towel test is not helping whatsoever with this color. Let me turn on the heat, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the our next skein. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this until I feel the heat in the pot, and then I will be back to add the citric acid and see where we are before we move on to attempt number three. All right, I'm starting to feel some heat in the pot. So I'm gonna add the citric acid. So, as you can see, that is definitely more orange this time. 
It could be close. It's going to be hard to say until it starts to really clear. Um, this, uh, this rust color is a tricky one. <laughs> so I'm going to stir this for a few moments and then I will meet you back at the mixing table so we can try to figure this out. Because I, I honestly think that this is going to be closer. But I feel like we might be able to do better. All right, I want to do <clears throat> that orange, that, that rust color, the picture is very full bodied orange. So I, we need to go halfway between attempt one and attempt two because attempt one, now that it's been in the pot for a while and it's, it's definitely looking, it's like a beautiful red. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna try mixing up four tablespoons of yellow and one tablespoon of magenta and then I wanna take a look. I wanna take a look at what that looks like. So we are gonna keep the four tablespoons of yellow and then we're going to do one tablespoon of magenta and then I want to see what that looks like. So right now we have one tablespoon of magenta, four tablespoons of yellow, and I want to mix that up and see what that looks like. We are going to need some water in this. It's more of a yellowy. That's more of a yellowy. So I think I'm going to add just a teaspoon of magenta at a time. Yes. I'm going to add just another teaspoon of magenta in. That's definitely a brighter orange. And I kind of think that's what we need. It's a bit of a brighter. Oops, that was one tablespoon of magenta, four tablespoons of yellow, and this is one tablespoon of magenta, or one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of magenta, and four tablespoons of yellow. So I wanna, I'm gonna start adding the teaspoons of black in here, because I feel like that orange is a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more yellow. And let's see what happens here. There's one teaspoon of black. So that is definitely a more yellowy brown. I'm going to add another teaspoon of magenta. I'm 
a little bit of hot water. I don't know if you guys can hear, um, it's raining here. <laughs> so, I apologize if you can hear that in the background. Hmm. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna roll with that for the third attempt. The paper towel is just, it's really, none of the colors ended up being brown. So I'm gonna roll with it. I'll meet you guys over at the pots and we're just gonna plug along here with attempt number three. All right, we're at the pots. We're gonna go ahead and add in attempt number three. Give it a swirl. Uh, the heat is on. So I am gonna go grab our third skein. This one looks more promising. It's definitely got more of that bright orange going on. Alright, so I'm going to mix this around until I feel some heat and then I'll be back with you to add the citric acid in. Okay, I'm starting to feel some heat in the water. So I'm going to add my two tablespoons of citric acid. it up. So this is definitely looking a little bit closer than the other two. But I am going to go ahead and run all these till they're set and send you back to present me so you can see how they turned out. Haha, <laughs> psych! Not sent any back yet. This has been run for a little bit now and I just wanted to show you guys. I am pretty sure that number three is gonna be the closest. And I feel pretty proud of myself because the paper towel test was showing brown for almost every single attempt. So I did this heavily off my intuition, but that is, that is close. So now for reals, I'm gonna send you back to present me so you can see how they turned out. But I was so excited that I wanted you to see that. Bye guys. And welcome back. So I am super pumped about this dye session. Uh, the colors were a little hard to determine on the paper towel test. Everything looked brown to me, but the resulting colors are so good. They are so fall and I'm so excited to show them to you. So attempt number one, we did three tablespoons of magenta, four tablespoons of yellow and two teaspoons of black. And this, this <laughs> is the prettiest red I have ever seen. This is the prettiest red I've ever dyed. I love it so much. I've already used it in a colorway for the colors I have coming out in the fall because it is gorgeous. Look at that. Ah, I love it. <sighs> okay. Attempt number two was two tablespoons of magenta four tablespoons of yellow and three teaspoons of black. Gorgeous. This is a little bit more brown. It's like a, like a, got a, like a slight, it's got like a slight orange, but so good. So good. I love it so much. And then attempt number three, which I feel is the closest to the rust color that we were going for, uh, was one tablespoon and two teaspoons of magenta, four tablespoons of yellow, and one teaspoon of black. Gorge. Gorgeous. I just love, I just love all three of these. Like, I could see myself making, like, a shawl with all three of these. So good. This is just can't say enough about how happy I am about this dive session. 
So these all will be available when this airs on my website. And I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about my website. Uh, I will be sadly having to take another break from doing to demos on YouTube because I have decided that I am moving platforms from WooCommerce, which is what my website is on now, to Shopify. So I need to take a small break to focus solely on getting that done because I'm, I don't, I would say that I am, I'm tech savvy, but website building is, it takes a little bit and there's going to be a lot of new things to learn, but I'm hoping that it's going to be so much easier than what I'm doing now. So I need to take a break to focus on that. And in the meantime, <laughs> um, there will be other dye videos, uh, but I have to take a break from the rigorous once a week schedule so that I can get my website moved over before the busy season starts. So with that being said, um, on my website, starting today when this airs, uh, everything will be 40% off so that I don't have to take a bunch of pictures. <laughs> No, everything will be 40% off. Um, I have a lot of inventory I want to get down so that I can bring in new stuff. So you won't need a code. You just put it in the cart and 40% will automatically come off. The link directly to these will be below and the link to my website will also be below so that you guys can go check out that. Um, and it would be a great help to me to sell some of this. So like, like I said, so I can bring the new stuff in. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm thinking that I'll be back to doing this in October, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll have to see how long it actually takes me to get everything done with my website that I need to get done to have it up and running. So I appreciate your patience and I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in a few weeks. Thank you so much. Happy dying.